Thank you. And thank you, sir. <laughs> As a jazz musician, homelessness is always an issue. <laughs> so believe me, I appreciate it. And we should do something about the homeless situation, considering that I'm probably only about three steps away from it at any given moment. <laughs> now, I am a avant-garde jazz musician. I play weird music. Uh, and I'm also an abstract artist. I'm an abstract expressionist kind of an artist. And I'm interested in the two ideas. And most of the time, people think that's a separate issue, abstract expressionism art, or expressionist art, and being a musician. But I thought, well, I want to hit Control-Alt-Delete on that concept, that the two have to be separate. Because I like both. And I'm interested in what I would call my own cognitive ecology. Now, what I mean by that is the taking disparate ideas and finding commonalities between them, taking separate ideas. For example, they say, think outside the box. Well, why does it have to be a box? Already, I'm thinking like a box person. Why can't I think outside the box? Why, why can't we think outside a cheeseburger? <laughs> it's a question. They want you to think outside the box, but most of the time you're just in a giant or bigger box. And you're not really thinking outside the box, you're just thinking Diet Pepsi instead of Pepsi. <laughs> so what I wanted to do is I wanted to combine the two. So what you see here is known as a graphic score. And what this graphic score does, it inspires some of my artistic thoughts and my musical thoughts and brings them together in my head. So I explore what you call, or I call my own cognitive ecology, and I practice bringing ideas that are separate, ideas about art and shape, and ideas about sound and line and improvisation, structure and freedom, form and movement, and I put them together. So I play this music, these scores, as music. And I've designed the system so that you can assign values to them so that this can actually be music instead of the traditional scores. And this kind of thinking, if you want to look it up in the dictionary, is known as diatactics or diatactical thinking. And diatactical thinking is that very idea, taking separate things and finding commonalities. And since I've studied many different types of music, if you look on my, any of biography or any website that has information about me, I've studied traditional Japanese court music, traditional Japanese theater music, South Indian, uh, Carnatic music. So how would I bring all these ideas together without losing one or some ideas from the other or disrespecting and, and overlaying my ideas over top of something without respecting the culture and the ideas that come with it. So I decided to make these scores to organize my thoughts. So this is essentially my thinking in action. This is the visual representation of how I think my thoughts move in my head. So when I play these, I'm actually playing my own thinking. So I'm going to perform this particular score for you. It's known as Cholobat, and if anybody who speaks Bangla here You'll instantly get the, the joke. And if you didn't, well, Cholobat. I'll explain it. I saw one guy nod his head. And everybody else is going. Cholo means go or hooray for. And bat means rice. By accident during, the, uh, during a cricket match, instead of screaming out Cholo Bangladesh, I screamed out Cholobat, which means hooray for rice. It is one of my thoughts. I called the piece Cholobat. So here it is. And you can do this too. You don't have to have musical training. If you're an artist or have any kind of doodling skills or some sort of skill where you want to take separate ideas and put them together, especially if you're an artist, this doesn't take musical skill. It just takes thinking outside the cheeseburger. And all of you can do it. And you can do it. Think of your own cognitive ecology and think, what can I do today? How many cheeseburgers can I think outside of? And you'd be surprised at how many beach balls you can push down under the water or how many cheeseburgers you can think outside of, or how many new ideas you can come up with. So basically what I'm saying is, think outside the cheeseburger. This is Cholobat. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Thank you. And good luck.